What's up everybody, welcome to my new video. Today we have a project called Motorized Pinwheel. So we're gonna spin a colorful pinwheel using a motor. What type of motor? I don't know yet, let's find out. But yeah, it's an Arduino project. Step one. Uh, let's see, this, this is a diagram schematic or uh, just a schematic, I don't know exactly what it's called. A MOSFET right here. It looks like a button, but yeah, there's a diode, a 9 volt battery. It gets a little bit more complicated. This is the push button. It looks very similar, right? It's like this flat piece right here. This is the push button. I don't know exactly what triggers it, but. So we have a motor, let's see what else. Motors can generate their own current through a process called induction, which can damage your circuit if you don't plan for it. All right, let's move. So here we have a motor. Actually, I think I do have one. I don't know what this is, uh, what is that? N MOSFET transistor. I'm not gonna bring them out because they usually it's usually something else. Here's the battery though. You can bring out a battery and you can just connect the battery to whatever you want to connect it to. Push button, 9 volt battery, a diode, I don't know what that is. A diode. What is that? That's the motor, right? But it's not on here. What is this, a transistor? I wonder if there's those types of transistors. There is. I said it was called. There's a NMOS, there's a PMOS, and there's a few others. This one looks like it's a, I don't know, one of these here. What's the difference? Drain gate source, drain gate source, and loss. What's the difference? Okay, I don't know what the difference is yet. We'll find out. Using a transistor, let me see, it might say on here MOSFET. But they're both MOS. One is N MOS, one is P MOS. It could be. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll just find out. Using the transistor, take a look at the circuit diagram for this project below. <coughs> Ground DS. What does that mean? I'm not sure. Motors. Motors work on a principle called induction. Induction is a process in which a changing electrical current in a wire in which a changing electrical current can generate a changing magnetic field. The reverse is also true. A motor can generate electricity when the shaft is spun around. Protection diode. Alright, so the protection diode. What is that? The protection diode. When you stop supplying energy to a motor, it will continue to spin because it has inertia. During this time, it will generate a voltage in the opposite direction. Okay. I wish I understood this a little bit more. That would be nice. Circuit diagrams. Okay, and that's the first step. That's the introduction. That's a lot of information to yes. It is. I kind of understand vaguely what it is. Like if you told me to recall all of that, what I just read, I wouldn't be able to. I just know that a 9 volt battery is included. I know that one of these is included. I know that a motor is included. Let's see what kind of motors we have. DC motor. I think that's what we use. It could be one of these as well. 
I'm not sure though. I think it's this one. If it is though, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have one. But yeah, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good ass day. Peace out.